What's going on, my fellow YouTubers? <laughs> this is your boy Dave. Um, I'm a towel on my head, so you already know what kind of video this is going to be. Sorry, I got a message for me. I got a brand new phone. That's a picture of my mommy on there. Um, the Samsung Galaxy S3. Thank you, bro. Don't mind the noise in the background. That is just a fan. It is hot as fuck. Anyway, I got the brand new Galaxy S3. I was going to get the S4, but, you know, that just wasn't in the budget. I'm going to switch from the iPhone. Um, it's a pretty good phone. I mean, I like it. It's pretty much have a lot of the features as the iPhone got. Um, I just miss my iPhone, so I might be going back to that, or I might have both. I'm not too sure. But Samsung Galaxy S3 so far is a pretty decent phone. No complaints. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'm just doing a quick. I got a lot of um, a lot of questions about as far as um, what what have I been using in my hair? Um, when are you going to do some thread updates, so forth and so on? Um, and I apologize for that. There's been a lot of stuff going on, um, in which as the months to follow, I will give y'all updates on that. But it's there's a lot of crap going on. My personal life as of right now that I don't feel like talking about in this video, because also I'm not high, so. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's just how that goes. But um, I've been doing the Atkins diet still. Um, I lost a total so far 35 pounds. Um, my goal is to lose 70 pounds, so I'm doing good. Um, I can see it a lot in my face. My face is down dr dr dramatically. My D cup went down to like a solid B, so I'm feeling pretty good. Showing off titties and shit. Hold on, let me give you another couple of bars of this bro real quick. I'm slimming down a little bit. I'm slimming down. I'm, I'm looking like something. I'm looking like something. It's cool. It's cool. Still a little bit swollen, but it's cool. Anyway, back to the dreads. <laughs> um, I've been having, a, uh, I've been getting asked a whole lot of questions. What, what, what have I been using? Um, as far as moisturizer, because I can't. What have I been using as far as like a moisturizer and coloring and so forth and so on? Um, since my hair has got long, right now my hair reaches to about my lower back, around like my back section, around here. Um, and as I notice as it's getting longer, um, you know, I'm, I've been noticing, you know, just naturally when you have dreads, your dreads tend to get a little bit thinner in the root. So I have not been, I only twist my hair um, since my hair, once my hair got hair, I kind of stopped twisting my hair as much. Um, I twist my hair, um, I say once every three to four months. Now, for some people, that is a bit much. Um, now, in the meantime of me twisting that, I do still keep my scalp and my hair nice and moisturized, and I wash it and so forth and so on. Um, I just don't feel like twisting a lot. A lot of the time, it's way too long for me. It's annoying. Actually, today is the hottest day, so I'm going to probably only twist up the front and not really worried about the back because I sweat a lot in the back, so I don't really like to twist my hair when it's really, really hot. But um, I have been coloring my hair. Um, I no longer use um, um, hair color that has ammonia and stuff in there only only because I noticed that as my hair is getting longer, um, the more chemicals and stuff that I put in it is since it's drying out a whole lot more. So I just upscaled that. Um, I'm going to show you the product. Hold on, let me try to find it. Okay. This is the hair color that I've been using for the past several months and ones that I think that work really, really good. It's by Beijing. Um, the color I use is Blue Black number 88. Um, this is a all natural um, permanent hair, hair color. Um, it has no ammonia, no hydroxide, peroxide required. So the only thing you have to mix with this is water. Um, I love the color. I love the shade. I love how long the color lasts. Um, I think I spent like four dollars for this one box. The downfall, okay. Well, no. Let me talk about the good things. It keeps um, my it makes my hair color so dark. Actually, let me take this off. And I actually put some on my beard as well. It just helps to intensify the blackness in there, giving it that really dark, deep look, which is what I like. Um, but let me unwrap the towel. I'll show. You know, a couple bars of that. Um, it makes my hair feel extremely soft. The color does not burn. It does not itch whatsoever. It has a nice, um, a nice pleasant smell to it. Um, 
It's very nice and thick and creamy, really, really easy to apply. So anyone um, that um, really, you know, have a hard time applying color or that doesn't know too much about color, this is the best brand because everything is in here. Gloves, the tray that you measure the water, and everything. The downfall is, this is how big the bottle is. Yeah. So you see all this hair I got? I have to use, like, six of these almost. And because I, I put some over here as well, I'm going to try to get my scalp, I get the bag, and so forth and so on. Um, so yeah, this is the only downfall that you will probably end up spending more on um, purchasing this than you would just a regular um, stick of color or even a box color. Um, you would use less of that, but you would need so much more than this. This is ridiculous actually. I've been um, working on um, trying to write the company to see if they can um, enlarge these bottles, but this is ridiculous. But the sub works phenomenal though, so it's kind of a catch 22. They have um, all kinds of shades of blonde, browns. Um, I just love this color line. I've been using it for um, several months now, um, so that's the only complaint that is small, but overall the color works really, really good. Um, as far as shampoo and conditioner, normally I use the Neoxin product line, but you know, money been a little bit tight, and the new salon that I work at, you know, they don't sell that, so there's no employee discount, so you know I gotta switch that up real quick, for real, excuse me. Um, so what I've been using for the past several months is, um, I purchased these at, at Sally's. This is um, Quantrum Moisturizing Shampoo for perm, color treated, relaxed, or dry hair. Um, so, and this is the conditioner as well. Um, I bought this at Sally's. Um, these are always on sale. Um, buy one, you get one free. And one of them is like six seventy five. And if you don't have a professional car, I believe it's like eight dollars, whatever, eight nine dollars, which is still not bad. You're getting, you're buying one, you're getting one free. I love the shampoo, I love the conditioner, I love the fact how the conditioner really, really keeps my hair nice and moisturized. It is a nice consistency. I use a lot of it, so let me try to, uh, I'm trying to be nice, I'm trying to give you like a couple of bars of this really, really great quick. Well, the consistency is like that, very, very thick. It's nice and moisturizing. Um, so, and the con when you, the thing with the shampoo is that your hair will feel squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. I'm telling you, like, it's weird how this is, actually, this cleans better than the Neoxin shampoo because my scalp and my hair feels completely stripped of um, any um, product buildup, um, any kind of um, just like dandruff or like anything on dry scalp. This will scrape your hair clean. You can feel it clean. Like, I feel my, I would feel my hair, like, squeaky clean. And I haven't felt that in years. So, um, Quantrum Shampoo is phenomenal. Love it. Definitely get this in your rotation. Um, the conditioner, I love this conditioner. Um, not only, because when you wash with this, your hair feels, like, almost too, too, too clean. And you follow it up with this, and this works phenomenal, nice and thick. It keeps it nice and moisturized. I had a really nice. Oh, shit. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> has a nice. Um, I don't know. The, the smell is. Like a clean. Like a clean mix with flowers or something. This works really, really good. Um, there is some alcohol in their product line, um, but the first ingredient is water, and that's always the key. Whatever product line that you are trying to make sure that the first key ingredient is water. Because here it needs water to keep it more dry and to promote hair growth. Now, what I do with my conditioner is, is a little bit different. Actually, um, and I probably don't have it right here. Um, I bought it. I bought it from Salis. It's called Hask, and it is a macadamia oil, um, and it's a macadamia treatment on top of a serum. Um, I put um, a couple of drops in my conditioner, it makes a big, big difference. That macadamia oil by, um, from Sally's 
called Hats. It's phenomenal. It comes with like a little tube and stuff like that. It's like a dollar and something. You can try it out first. They got the big bottles, but that's like a dollar and something. You have to try it. All my natural people, all my people that are not natural, try Hask macadamia oil. It will change your whole fucking perception of how like you thought your hair felt soft and once arrived before. For real. Um, so I use that. So these two, definitely in my rotation. Now, what I've been twisting my hair with everyone that's been following me over the years, I tried everything. I mixed butters and things like that and oils and things and so forth and so on, um, which works really, really good. Uh, I'm going back old school because, once again, I'm doing this a quick, quick twist up. I'm going to twist up the front probably. Um, so how long my hair is. My hair is pretty, pretty long in the front. That's what these boobs are going to smell better. Excuse me. <laughs> and that's what you're looking like in the back. Hopefully y'all can see that. But my hair is growing really, really long. So I'm going old school today. I'm going to use my Echo Style Gel Maximum. Maximum Hold. Um, preferably because I'm really, I'm just... I'm going to wipe the twist whenever the twist because it's hot. I sweat. I go to the gym five days a week. So I can't really keep my hair all cute and dizzy and all the other shit and braids. I have a sensitive scalp. Get the fuck out my scalp. and I'm braiding my hair and shit. You know, you do doing that and shit. That shit hurts. Get the fuck out of here with all that. Anyway, so um, I'm just using my old school Echo Cell gel. I've used this. Oh, God. For years, <laughs> like even before I even had dreads, when I just had like my hair curly and shit. It's old school. It works really, really good. This one smells really, really good though. Um, I bought this at my local beauty supply store for three nineteen. Um, and this is the alcohol free one. Um, I just find that the uh, that that the alcohol free one works a little bit better for my hair because it keeps it really, really nice moisturized. Um, and I do also use a little bit of macadamia oil. In my um, Echo Style Gel, um, just just because, just to add some more moisture and stuff to my hair, because it's summertime and my scalp tends to get a little bit dry, so I'm just really adding extra, extra, extra moisture to everything possible. Um, I love it. It smells fucking phenomenal. And I use this like several times, and I still got all that, and I bought this like a couple months ago. Ooh. I love it. Phenomenal. And, you know, I twisted, someone asked what, what do I use, I thought everyone knew, but I guess I'll go over it. Okay. Um, clips, regular duckbill clips. Um, yeah, I like these a little bit better than I would these, if you can tell the difference. This one has a little bit more of um, some room, because I had to kind of twist several of my dreads together. So I like to use these before I use this. These I normally use for like the front if, if I just want to clean up the front, but I thought everyone knew that. But once again, I'm not hanging. So I use that and I follow it by my Super Hold Polisher Spritz by IC. Gives you a phenomenal hold. I had this for several months. You see how much I use. You do not need enough a lot. You just need a couple of one, two, three. That's it, and that shit would be fucking frozen like ice cream, honey. For real. Um, has aloe and vitamins A, D, and E. Um, I like it. It has alcohol in it, so I don't use so much of it. Um, just like a three small spritz, just like one, two, three. Now my fucking hair over here frozen, I shit. But yeah, that's what I use. Um, and one more thing. The oil, I mean, that's what oil do I like to use? I might be some fake diamonds, y'all. Um, hopefully, this just some turn my fucking air blue and green and that shit. But these are cute. And there was only a dollar ninety nine. Today is my day off. On my day off, I just spend money. So, fuck is that? My hair, my hair supply store. Um, yeah. Um, from when I'm going out. Uh, dark skin, dark beard. Cubic zirconia. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> back to my oil. Oh,
I tried so many different oils. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. Hold on. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. Don't be talking shit. Don't hang my chair. Hold on. Okay. I love this oil. This is Jamaican mango lime island oil. Lubricate scalp, nourishes roots, strengthens locks. Love this stuff. Um, smells really, really good. Um, ugh, I just love it. Got like a pineapple, mango, lime, citrus smell to it. It just fucking smells phenomenal. And this really keeps my hair nice and moisturized. Um, it has mineral oil, castor oil, common seed oil, carrot oil, Jehovah oil, olive oil, tea tree oil, nothing but pure oils. Get this in your rotation. Um, it's five forty nine. Plus tax. Yeah, this is the best oil out there. It's nice and light. It's not heavy, so it doesn't feel like you got like a whole pound of oil in it. Very, very light. I love this stuff. Now, what I use um, when I'm co-washing, meaning when I'm just washing rather really quick, not really putting any products in, what I've been using is um, and this is for sub for several months, 100% glycerin by Av. Africare, bought this at my local supply store, beauty supply store, for six dollars. Um, bought this several months ago, and, I'm, and I use this on my body. Well, I used to use this shit on my body. Um, let me tell you, if you're dark skin and you got sweet blood, you put you put some of this shit on, you bit up for real on shit. <laughs> Fucking, I got mosquito bites out the yin yang. Like, my legs is fucked up like this summer, so I don't suggest putting this shit on your damn skin, on your face, because I got fucking, like, mosquitoes, like, it was an like eye, was a brownie and shit for, like, a minute, for real. But, when I come, when I come off the shower, and after I shampoo and condition my hair with concha, I put, like, a couple of drops, and my hand is really, really thick, massaging it in my scalp, work it all the way down. Pour it up in a ponytail and a cool and shit. For about like a couple of days, like a week, my whole scalp and hair is just nice and moisturized. Works phenomenal for the hair. You can try this shit on your skin. Maybe you won't get bit up, but I almost died, so I'm cool. But um, definitely these are two of the two moisturizers that I use the most out of. I don't do anything else, anything special. These are just a tip. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm about to just do a quick, quick little drive. I'm sitting right by the fan, getting my hair nice and dry at the end. So the only thing I got to do is kind of twist them up really, really quick. Um, and I use thick rubber bands and stuff like this. Someone asked me how do I start twisting my hair. Um, I never had anyone ask me that question before, but um, <laughs> I was kind of thinking that. But um, I normally kind of put everything up in the bun, in the back. I swear, people must probably just ask me random shit because they think I'm not going to answer it, but I'll answer any damn question. I mean, I might talk shit about it, but I'm going to talk bad shit about it. But I'm going to talk about it. Um, section off in the back, I'm like a bun, and I just focus on this side, this section. Quick, quick, done. This, um, and I do use a comb when I'm supposed to my hair. I keep all of my stuff in here, all of my clipper guards, my combs, and my hair clips right in here. And I bought this, I actually got this from my job, but you can find this at um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, anywhere really. Um, get my regular home. That's pretty much it though. That's what my rotation is about to be on. Um, yeah. I did watch the Love and Hip Hop reunion. That shit was trash. I'm just so tired. Mimi, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to this shit act an extra extra hard because she's soft as, soft as fucking wet tissue. For real. Uh, but she did look pretty. Um, the only one that looked at crazy on the reunion, Carly Red, I mean, she is just so extra. Like, why is she there? I don't get her. Like, she really didn't do anything. Like, this whole. Like, she's just whack. Like, I didn't like her. Mimi looked at beautiful. Um, Arian is just fucking phenomenal. K. Michelle, listen, I don't know who the fuck is telling her, I'm just going to moisturize my scalp. I don't know who the fuck is telling her, 
that it's okay to wear those thick ass lace fronts that you get from the hair store that's in like the brown box. You buy it when you get six free. But that should look weak. Somebody needs to really re tell her and explain to her what's up because oh shit, I don't have a hold that. Because um she is just those wigs are fucking terrible. This shit was thick as fuck. Um, she fucking had um it's just thick. Like why like who who is your hair person? Why are they even doing that to you? Like why are you allowing them to do that shit to you? Like sh like take off that fucking wig, like Oh god, I'm so tired of her. Um what's that chick name? Paul Sunny. Paul Sunny looked crazy, like always. So I'm sick of her and shit. The prostitute that's like getting all of like this fame. She's so extra. Um Erica looked at I just love 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 Erica. I think she is fucking beautiful for no damn reason. Just beautiful chick for no reason at all. I love her. Uh, Mona, finally, she must have got the memo on shit. Got some brand new hair dressing because her wig was looking kind of TA tight. It was, it was looking, it was looking pretty, pretty good. Mama D looked like, you remember like those, um, you remember like the, the cartoon and shit, the, the dinosaurs and shit, where like they had the baby, not the mama, not the mama. She looked like the mama and shit. <laughs> she looked just like the yeah, that bitch looked crazy. Like, who? <laughs> why? Why are they let her out like that? Like, for real. Like, and she dark skin. So, and I feel that when you're dark skin, you you gotta be always ta tight. Everything gotta be tight. Facial hair, eyebrows, fucking hair, clothes, fucking cologne, smell. You gotta be ta tight when you're dark skin because instantly there are some assholes out there that think that dark skin people stink and that they're dirty. So you gotta always make sure you keep everything ta tight, always. But she is just looked. Oh gosh, looked fucking crazy. Scarby looked good, but he didn't take off like those hair store glasses. Yeah. Um, Erica, mom looked good. Um. I'm just gonna need her to just lay off the lay off the oil shit, cause it seemed like whoever pressed her hair and shit really put like a whole lot of shit on there. Was just like fuck it, it's it's the old weave. I'm gonna try and make it look that much shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, and what's that chick name? That DJ, the the one that looked like one of like the um, like baby bop or shit. Those who are gonna. <laughs> I got jokes for everybody. Those two are gonna end up getting back together because they're kinda cute. I mean, they're they're not cute, but they're kinda cute together. So if she likes it, I love it. I mean well no, I don't. But if she likes it, I'll I guess I have to accept it. I'll say that. Yeah. Um that's really it. I am anxious to see what love and hip hop in New York has to go for. Erica Ben have been talking shit, and which I find that funny because there's always the hoes that's angry at everything, but you are so fucking angry because you're the hoe. Shit. Not her, shit, you're the hoe. But anyway, that's just it, y'all. Let me get rid of the twist of my hair really, really quick. I'm supposed to go to the movies to see the butler later, so I'm trying to look cute for like my little date. Yeah, long story. But, um, yeah, so everyone have a great day. I hope that everyone's summer is going well. Shout out to all of my subscribers and my new ones and my old ones. Um, yeah. All right, and I'll see you all in the next video. The next video, I'm going to start recording with like my camera again. Because um, there's been a lot of people um, just asking me personal questions and stuff like that. So I want to take you on the road with me one day. So in the life of Sally, and you will see the bullshit that I got to go through. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. No. But um, just stay blessed, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.